Thanks very much, Derek. It's uh, Bill Whiteford here with News Drive. GPs in Scotland are being told to be more vigilant about potential cases of Lyme disease amid an increase in incidences of the condition. Scotland's Chief Medical Officer, Dr Catherine Calderwood, has written to frontline medical staff reminding them of the key role they play in early diagnosis. Rigmore Hospital in Inverness is Scotland's specialist testing centre for tick-borne diseases. Dr Roger Evans, who heads up the unit, says part of the challenge is the unreliability of diagnosis by blood testing. If you present acutely with a rash and we do our normal tests, and if that's positive with the clinical indications of a rash or flu-like illness after tick bite, we would think it's Lyme disease and they would be treated. The difficulty there, of course, is in an acute infection, the antibody response might respond very quickly. And so the tests that we use may be negative, even though the person has the disease. And so what we get is a false negative result. Tonight, a BBC disclosure programme shows the suffering of people who've contracted uh, this illness. Joining us now is Julia Knight uh, from Lyme Disease UK. Good evening. Good evening. Thank and you for inviting me. That's not a problem. It's a, a real uh, thing, though, isn't it, that Dr Evans has put his finger on there, which is the difficulty of actually getting a positive diagnosis. And many of the people that uh, you speak for will have been through the whole business of a, a, a false negative. Yeah, absolutely. Um, because of difficulties in diagnosing, um, including lack of awareness um, with frontline medical staff, um, many people, the diagnosis gets missed and they miss that small window of time when an acute illness can be treated um, with antibiotics. Um, the trouble is the diagnosis often gets missed because the person, A, doesn't get the, the um, EM rash, commonly known as a bullseye rash, so that so that's where the, the the insect bite is in the middle, and there's a sort of concentric rings around it of red. Yeah. Well, it can be. I mean, that's that's the one that everybody looks for. Um, but the rash can be atypical, and that throws GPs off as well. Um, and then not everybody gets a rash. If if everybody got the rash from a tick bite, it would be a lot simpler. Uh, but they don't. And then um, if a person's aware they've been bitten by a tick, they might go to their GP, say, I've been bitten by a tick. And the GP says, oh, I'll do a blood test because, you know, GPs love a blood test. And um, But the trouble is, as was previously said, the antibody response in Lyme disease can be slow. And the uh, test is an antibody test. So... Um, if you test too early, uh, you're going to get a false negative. And sometimes we find people who are only now, f for instance, finding out that they've got Lyme disease, that might have been contracted decades ago. Um, do you think that situation will improve over time as more people know about Lyme? Well, I think if we can uh, raise awareness, and you know, we really uh, applaud what the Scottish um, CMO has done today, and and. What would be good is if the other regions followed suit. If we can get this awareness out there, then hopefully as as time goes by, we wouldn't have so many of these cases that have been missed or misdiagnosed as other, quite a lot of people get misdiagnosed with chronic fatigue syndrome. Yeah, we had uh, we had of one uh, young uh, victim of the disease who who had said just that she's she was at school and, and she was just told that she was she had chronic fatigue. Uh, was well, it just chronic fatigue? That in itself, of course, is a is a terrible thing to have. Absolutely. But uh, just as far as uh, Lyme disease is concerned, then I mean, ticks are not going to go away, are they? I mean, we're, if anything, we seem to have more ticks and well, tick bites. Just as uh, an anecdotal uh, point to make is that traditionally we see ticks active sort of from early spring, late April till the end of October. Now, last year, most of the country had a fairly mild winter and we were getting people coming to us throughout the winter with tick bites. So what should we do uh, now that many more people know about this? I do hear people saying, well, I got bitten by a tick. I hope I don't get Lyme disease. What can we do about it? Well, there's a few things you can do. First of all, try and avoid a tick bite right. in the first place. By if you're in an area where you think you could get bitten by a tick, 
bearing in mind ticks have been found in urban parks and gardens but you know in general think where you've been or where you're going dog walking hiking um try and wear long trousers long sleeves light clothes because they show up easily on light clothes put a repellent on we all we all go on our overseas holidays taking our uh, mosquito repellent don't we and yet in the uk this this disease is out there we know that not every tick is infected so it's not scaremongering but the problem is you could get that one tick that's infected so it's cover up and use a repellent thank you very much julia knight from lyme disease uk and that program is on uh, bbc one scotland tonight it's called disclosure under the skin it's also available of course on the bbc iplayer